Hello everyone. Uh, so it's Victoria, just in case you're wondering who I am. And uh, in case you're new to this channel, thank you for coming and welcome. And I'd like to talk about time management and how somebody can achieve time management. And it's been a difficult journey for me. When I was a kid, I was not very good with time. Uh, I became good with time over time. That's funny, right? Okay, so what do I want? What do I mean? Uh, basically, when I started racing and doing marathons, I realized that time was of the essence. If I wanted to cross the finish line at a certain time, I needed to kick my ass, okay? So what happened was the first marathon I ever did was in New York, and I was just like dilly-dallying, you know? Like I didn't, I just wanted to finish, and I was hanging out at the aid stations at the water, you know, where the water is, just hanging out, drinking water, not realizing that I had to get to the finish line, um, because it wasn't important. Of course, Hawaii life, island life, you know, you don't realize time is, you know, just passing by because you're just having a good time, you know what they say, time flies when you're having fun. But having said that, as a parent and as somebody that has to be responsible, there has to be some sort of... I don't know, you know, responsibility to your time. And I do believe that time is of the essence. Time is very precious and you take it for granted. And I don't want to do that. So I have managed my time such that I could realize what exactly is going to take a certain amount of time. Now, relaxing time also takes time. So you have to give yourself a window to watch videos or you know, do whatever you have to do to answer people back or, you know, make those phone calls. Make, set aside time to make phone calls. Seriously, I mean, I know it sounds very inorganic, but it is actually very authentic and organic. When you set time for somebody, then you are giving them your time. Um, it's very important to give somebody your time and undivided attention. And I don't always get to do that, but when I do, I'd like to have that window reserved and carved out just for them. So, and I'd like the same for me, if that's the case. Uh, I know that a lot of people are not on the same schedule, especially now that I am in Hawaii, it's a different time zone, but, um, you know, carving out time for somebody is so important, and they will realize it, and they'll see it, and you can realize it also that just because you're not spending 24-7 with somebody doesn't mean that you don't care about them or think about them. You're thinking about them even when you're not with them. And in order to let someone know that is, well, you got to tell them, really. You can't just have them assume it, and you can't assume it also. So basically communication is key also. So what am I getting at? I'm getting at the bird behind me. I'm getting at the fact that Time is very precious, and don't take it for granted, and don't take people for granted, because it really, really makes a big difference in your life and in their lives, and you'll see how much more enriched your life can be when you take responsibility, and you don't just take time for granted, and you don't take people for granted, all right? So I'm bringing you different scenery. What you think? What you think? Huh? Anyway, all right, well... I just got this furniture. I waited six months to get this furniture outside, and now I am sitting on it. And I thought I'd use a selfie stick and talk to you guys. Fruit makes it cute. Eat more fruit. Take care. Bye.